the Book of Toth, Emerald Tablet 3, The Key of Wisdom. I, Toth, the Atlantean, give of my wisdom, give of my knowledge, give of my power. Freely I give to the children of men, give that they too might have wisdom to shine through the world from the veil of the night. Wisdom is power and power is wisdom, one with each other perfecting the whole. Be thou proud, O man, in thy wisdom. Discourse with the ignorant as well as the wise. If one comes to thee full of knowledge, listen and heed, for wisdom is all. Keep thou not silent when evil is spoken, for truth like sunlight shines above all. He who oversteppeth the law shall be punished, for only through law comes the freedom of men. Follow thy heart during thy lifetime. Do more than is commanded of thee. When thou hast gained riches, for thou, thou through thy heart, and all these are of no avail, if thy heart be weary. Diminish not the time of following thy heart, it is abhorred of the soul. They that, are guide go, they that are guided go not astray, but they that are lost cannot find a straight path. If thou go among men, make for thyself love the beginning and the end of the heart. If one comes unto thee for counsel, let him speak freely, that the thing for which he hath come to thee may be done. If he hesitates to open his heart to thee, it is because you, the judge, have done wrong. Repeat not extravagant speech, neither listen thou to it, for it is the utterance of one not in equilibrium. Speak not of it, so that he before thee may know wisdom. Silence is of great profit, and abundance of speech profits nothing. Exalt not thy heart above the children of men, lest it be brought lower than the dust. If thy be great among men, be honoured for knowledge and gentleness. If thou seekest to know the nature of a friend, ask not his companion, but pass the time alone with him. Debate with him, testing his heart by his words and his bearing. That which goeth into the storehouse must come forth, and the things that are thine must be shared with the friend. Knowledge is regarded by the fool as ignorance, and the things that are profitable to him are hurtful. He liveth in death, it is therefore his food. The wise man lets his heart overflow, but keeps silent his mouth. O man, listen to the voice of wisdom, listen to the voice of light. Mysteries there are in the cosmos that unveiled fill the world with their light. Let he who would be free from the bonds of darkness first divine the material from the immaterial, the fire from the earth. For know ye that as earth descends to earth, so also fire ascends to fire and becomes one with fire. He who knows the fire that is within himself shall ascend until the eternal fire and dwell in its eternally. Fire, the inner fire, is the most potent force of all, for it overcometh all things and penetrates to all things of the earth. And these are some very interesting words. And man supports himself only on that which resists, so earth must resist man, else he existeth not. It's very profound. All eyes do not see with the same vision. For to one an object appears of one form and colour, and to a different eye of another. So also the infinite fire, changing from colour to colour, is never the same from day to day. Thus I speak, I talk. I talk of my wisdom, for man is a fire burning bright through the night. Never is quenched in the veil of the darkness, never is quenched by the veil of the night. Never is a strong word. Hark ye, O man, and list to the wisdom. Where do name and form cease? Where do name and form cease? Only in consciousness, invisible, an infinite force of radiance bright. The forms that ye create by brightening thy vision are truly effects that follow thy cause. Man is a star bound to a body. Man is a star bound to a body until in the end he is free through his strife. 
only struggling, toiling, thy utmost shall the star within thee bloom out in new life. He who knows the commencement of all things, free is his star from the realms of night. Remember, O man, that all which exists is only another form of that which exists not. Remember, O man, that all which exists is only another form of that which exists not. Everything that has been is passing into yet other being, and thy thyself are not an exception. Consider the law, for all is law. Seek not that which is not of law, for such exists only in the illusion of the senses. Wisdom cometh to all her children, even as they cometh into wisdom. All through the ages the light has been hidden. Awake, O man, and be wise. Deep in the mysteries of life have I travelled, seeking and searching for that which is hidden. So list ye, O man, and be wise. Far beneath the earth crust in the halls of Amenti, mysteries I saw that are hidden from men. Oft I have journeyed the deep hidden passage, looked on the light that is life among men. There beneath the flower of life, ever living, searched I the hearts and the secrets of men. Found I that man is but living in darkness. Light of the greatest fire is hidden within. Before the lords of hidden Amenti, learned I the wisdom I give unto men. Masters are they of great secret wisdom, brought from the infinity's end. Seven are they, lords of Amenti, overlords they of the children of the morning, sons of the cycles, masters of wisdom. Formed are not they as the children of men? Question mark. Three, four, five, and six. Three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine are the titles of the masters of men.